What it do, what it do, what it do? It's your boy, Silly Cell, and we back in here. Yeah, this is the owner, the creator of Juice City Legend. We're going to switch it up. We're going to take it to Dallas. The reason I got to take it to Dallas, because anybody that know me, they know Texas. It's my second home, man. I've been going out there since I was a kid, man. I done lived out there, went to school. And it's a topic that's been on my mind, been on my heart. And I know about it from the beginning, so I got to touch on it. Let's get in it. The Mo3, Trap Boy Freddy, y'all the bees to be. Man, I said I wasn't going to touch on this, man. You know what I'm saying? But I got to, bro. I've been hearing so many different opinions. Everybody giving their opinion. So I'm going to give my opinion, man. I hear people to my who ain't from the city stay out the bed in the woo woo First of all, none of us know what really happened. All we can go by is what we saw. And what they gave what to look at. I don't care if you hung with them. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's two sides of every story. Three sides. This side, this side, and the truth. So, man, I'm about to give y'all my tweet. Before I get in this, I'm going to let everybody know everything I'm speaking on is facts. Not my opinion. You can go look up anything I'm going to speak on. You can go pull it up. So I ain't just no dude on the internet talking. You know. But this is entertainment. But you know what I'm saying? Documented Style content, you know what I mean? Just my little twist, everybody getting their twist. But let's get into it, man. So basically, we'll say around 2013, late 13, early 14, Dallas rap scene was going through a transition. It was going from the transition of uh, the boogie music, uh, the raw music, Fat Pimp, uh, the Stanky Leg, uh, all that type of stuff, you know. They were going through a transition, you know what I mean? They had culture, but they ain't had no sound. If you know anything about Dallas, I'm sure you heard of uh, Mr. Lucci, Mr. Pokey, uh, you know, guys like that, you know, Big Chi, you know what I'm saying, Gator Man, you know what I mean? Basically, that was that was the Dallas style. You know what I'm saying? The boogie, the boogie stuff blew up, but the Dallas sound to me, like the street sound, was like Mr. Luch and them, Crook for Life. You know, Mr. Poker, all them guys, Big Chief. You know, that was the Dallas sound to me. You know what I mean? So, like I say, around about 13, 14, they were transitioning from the boogie music into the, the streets. You know what I mean? A lot of people in Dallas. They had fun in the boogie era or whatever, but the street cats, they always wanted representation of the streets, man. How I know this, like I say, I'm tied to the deal, dude. Every time I went out there, you can feel it You can feel it in the air when you in Dallas. You know what's up. You know what I mean? It ain't no... <laughs> it, ain't, it don't look like nobody from the break out dance. You better be watching your back, covering your chain, tucking your... You know, keeping that thing on you. Because they not going in that triple D. But like I say, uh, around about 2013, man, you know, it was some new artists started coming along. One of the first ones I heard was this little guy from North Dallas, Mo3. You know, when I first heard Mo3, the first thing I thought about, Mr. Lucha, Mr. Puka, man, he sound like old Dallas. This little dude here got some. So I checked him out. Looked at his uh, documentary he had in Afghanistan and kind of seen the star in him then. I'm like, dang, look, dude, cold. You know. So I'm uh, I'm asking people, you know, like I said, I ain't from the D, but I, I, I did it tough, you know what I'm saying? So I'm asking people, y'all know Mo3? I ain't really know nobody knew 3, you know what I mean? Back then, I back then, in 2013, when I used to ask people in the street, Dallas people, that I was dealing with, doing what I was doing my thing with, they never heard them on three like that. You know what I mean? Some of them kind of heard them on the music, but in the streets or nothing like that, I never heard them. And it's not to take anything from Mo three, man. You know what I mean? Cause like I said, I'm trying to get y'all to see what I'm saying. When I heard them on three, they were local jokers. 
you know, him, Yellow, Trap, all of them, they were local jokers. So I didn't hear from him from a, a big superstar, celebrity perspective. I heard of him on a regular hood cat. You know what I'm mean? Still trying to make it. You know what I mean? Love. That's when I first started hearing about Mo3. That's how long I've been listening to him. Matter of fact, when I first heard him, I saw him on a on some with a little flip. Him and that dude Sko, that no Sko, that no, say no to Sko dude. That was in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Freestyle. That when I first heard him, I'm like, dang, that dude called man. I'm talking about he hit the freestyle and with the tongue twisting and. And harmonized like uh Mr. Luch. I said, man, that dude, that cold, man. You know what I mean? But he just looked like a regular cat at the time. You know what I'm saying? He just like a regular dude to me at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying all this, like I say, when I keep saying the regular dude, nobody really know him. You're going to understand what I say later on in the story when I get down, when I get into it. Like I say, you know what I mean? But tell the why, man, everybody know. This dude right here, he, 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 he been the truth. You know what I mean? I always knew he was going to make it. You know what I mean? Because I knew sometimes after so long, it's just time for something new. You know what I'm saying? The underdog going to get his shot. You can't hold him down. But for so long, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Mo3 talent is and was undeniable. You know what I mean? Like I said, it was just only so long for it broke out. Around that same time, right next door in Fort Worth, it was another artist called Yeah Yo. He was making a lot of noise. Go, yeah, yo, Ashley was probably the first one to go viral out the DL Dub, out of the new rappers. Around 2013, 14, around that area, around there. Like I say, the early ones who had the scene on lock was Mo3 and Go, yeah, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo, he always was talented to me, but he was he always came with a lot of controversy, you know what I'm saying? He kind of blew up being what, uh, Oh boy from Stop Six. I can't think of his name right now, you know what I'm saying? But he, he blew up off of that right there, beef and all that right there. So he was always tr trouble. You know, like I say, around that same time, back here in Dallas, Highland Hill to be exact, you had to cat yellow. You know what I mean? He came a little bit out the Mo three. Now really, really he had been out, you know what I'm saying? I say that yellow been doing this thing, rapping. But I'm saying he started making noise a little bit out the three now. You know what I mean? Uh he was doing this thing, you know what I mean? You go back, he had a song called No Man, you know what I mean? That was one of his first songs to, to kind of go viral. So when these people say Yellow just hey, that's on me, they just hating, man, you know what I mean? But Yellow, he he was uh one of the early ones to get the, the DF dub back on top, you know, for the new era. Last but not least, you had that boy Big Trap, Trap Boy Freddy. Represent Oak Cliff, you know what I mean? That trap, his name is exactly what he was, a trap boy. Now, he the name that I heard in the street, Trap Boy Freddy. Trap Boy Freddy, he the dude that you seen in the malls and stuff with the ice chain. He the dude that you seen with the box shit on float right through Dallas and all that right there. So, Big Trap already had a name in the city. You know what I mean? Before like rap, it was kind of like transitioning. You know what I mean? That was swag was going on. You know what I mean? Now he probably was the least talented out of all them rappers I named, but he the one that had the city behind him. He the one that you would see in the videos on stage with rappers in Dallas on stage throwing money, popping bottles. Way back in the game when he was young, you know, you know what I mean? So he played a pivotal role. Cause if he come rap that good, like they say, that mean he was a collaborator, so he, he he rocked with everybody. It wouldn't be but a matter of time before everybody started collaborating, getting booked for shows together, doing features together, uh, you know, forming the, the new deal dub. You know what I mean? It was all love at one point in time, man. You know them boys, they, everybody was rocking with each other. Everybody was collaborating. Everybody was getting money. You know what I mean? It was a heavy time, man. So I don't believe that this right here couldn't have been resolved, man, with that. Before everything went too far, I feel like all this could have been resolved, man. But, you know, more the ego and all that getting in play, you know, it's hard to get these youngsters 
to turn the other cheek. One of the uh, the first signs of trouble was gonna be a little beef between Yellow Bees and Mo3. And this right here happened way before anything about Rod Lee, which is what a lot of people like to say. The beef started with Rod Lee, but now nah, this actually went before. This, this is before Rod Lee. In my opinion, the reason Mo3 and Yellow Bees probably had beef, because they were similar. And I know you mean like, what you mean, so they were similar. Both of them harmonized. They were both the same age. You know what I mean? They were kind of pit against each other. You know what I mean? And Mo3, he kind of had the short man complex. These guys were so similar to me. They even had the same kind of hate. People used to give Mo3 flack for not originally being from Dallas. Mo3 grew up in McKinley. It's probably about an hour away from Dallas. I'd have been in McKinney. McKinney ain't no ain't no Trump town. They got they got gangsters out there. You know what I mean? Yellow Bees, they just say he was from Lancaster. You know, that's a little suburb outside of Oak Cliff, if you know anything or whatever. But from my understanding, Yellow Bees actually is from the cliff, but after his dad was killed, his mama moved him around like a lot of people do. If you you ever been to DF Dub, man, you man, people be from everywhere. I'm talking about Irving, Mesquite, Dallas, Arlington, Fort Worth. You know, they all around. It ain't it ain't too many people that just just in stayed in one spot in, in the DF Dub, you know what I mean? But they had a beef, man, you know what I'm saying? And the beef wasn't even about no Rod Lee. The beef was over a girl. You know what I mean? Some girl both knew both of them. Girl came back and told Mo3. Yellow was talking about him. Mo3 wanted to fight. You know what I mean? So it was a situation where Mo3 got at Yellow and they met up. Now, I don't know about y'all, but me personally, I can't get into it with nobody over nothing. No, he said, she said. You know what I mean? I'm going to peep the situation and, and probably do my little investigation, but I'm not going to just go at nobody about nothing no girl said. So in my opinion, there was a flower on my three part right there. He used to get in his feelings and, and you know, jump the gun or whatever. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, he just wanted to be with dude anyway. You know what I'm saying? Mo3 knew in his heart that he was caught in the yellow. You know what I mean? And Mo3 like competition for one thing. You know what I mean? So he wanted to show everybody that that he was that guy. And then, like I said, in the relationship, really, Trap, yeah, yo, Mo3 used to be cool. Yeah, yo, I mean, uh, Yellow Bees and Mo3, they really never were cool or whatever. They've been around each other a few times through Trap and them uh, other artists and things like that, but they really weren't never cool. You know what I mean? So, like I say, you can go look up this now. This is not me making up now for all y'all Mo3 fans. Uh, Mo3 hit up Yellow. They met up in the car together, so they yellow one scattered no three. They met up together by themselves. Talked about it. Mo three told him what he said, yellow man, I don't even know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? They supposedly had squashed it. You know what I mean? So like I said, in my opinion, three just wanted to beef anyway, you know what I mean? Cause there wasn't no legitimate reason. To, to go at somebody, you know what I mean? I don't me, I, I wouldn't. Maybe y'all young guys do that. You know, listen to what a female tell you and jump in here first, trying to go look for some, for some smoke. Now, where Ron Lee come in at, around that time, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people used to hate on Mo3. They used to call him Potato Head. You know, they used to uh, say he went from I'm really from Dallas, you know what I mean? So, him and Rod Lee, they team up doing shows together. Not growing up together, they wanted no click together. They they, team, they teamed up through the music business. So they won no day one partners. But that don't mean you can't get cool with nobody, you know. But I was just saying that to say they won day one. So Rod Lee was on Real Life Street Stars and 
he made a comment about somebody not being from Oak Cliff. You know what I mean? He didn't say no name. He just said, so-and-so, so-and-so ain't from Oak Cliff. Why y'all ain't on him? Like y'all on my boy three. The so-and-so, so-and-so, he was talking about with Yellow Bees. Now, Yellow might didn't go to certain schools and all that, or whatever. Even say if they were true, Yellow Bees didn't do nothing to nobody. You know what I mean? So once again, they jumped the gun and went at Yellow for no reason. They well, He went at them to take up for his boy. You know what I mean? But see, like I said, all these new Mo 3, three fans, they're not going to tell you all this. They're going to make it seem like everybody just was hating on Mo 3. Nobody was hating on this guy. You know what I mean? Everybody that had beef with him had legitimate reasons not to like him. You know what I mean? And like I said, he was just a man, though. I ain't trying to pile up on three. But I'm just telling y'all from what, the way I saw it. Mo 3 them always was mad about something. You know what I mean? Mo 3 fell out with several artists way before the incident with Yellin and Trap. So like I said, uh, it was a situation where uh, Roy Lee was on, on the radio. It might have been K K one hundred four nine seven nine the beat. I can't remember, but Roy Lee was on the radio. He was talking about the situation. Yellow bees are called in. They had a, a argument on the phone. You know what I mean? They fussing over the uh, over the internet or whatever. You know what I mean? About Yellow being from Oak Cliff or whatever. Roy Lee told him he ain't from Oak Cliff. You know what I mean? Y'all, he felt the need to speak up for himself because they were going at him. You know what I mean? Some people say Y'all got in his feelings. He was taking it too serious. You know, Raleigh a comedian, but at the same time, you can't you can't tell no how to, nobody how to respond, man. Because like I said, at the time Y'all was he was on his way up. He getting ready to blow. You know what I mean? In the rap game, anything, any little thing. Could stop that, you know what I mean? If you ain't established yet, you know what I'm saying? And it, like, it ain't like he was from Atlanta. They from Dallas, you know what I mean? They trying to do something that ain't been did before, you know what I'm saying? They trying to put on for the Triple D, you know what I mean? And Rod Lee going to him like that, you know what I mean? It made people stop. Certain people that already were looking for a reason to hate, it gave them some. Motivation. Around that same time, the real beef was brewing. The real reason that everything really set off. All right, you know, go yeah, yo. He he he, the type of guy that that people say go for bad. We'll just put it that way. Go yeah, yo. At that time, Mo three was his biggest competition. You know what I mean. Mo, yeah, yeah, was the hotter artist at the time. You know what I'm saying, but everybody always bragged on Mo three. How cold Mo three was. You know what I mean. If you go back to some of their old shows, you can see some tension, some sort of tension. You know what I mean, brewing when they was all doing show together. You know what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, man. I like yeah, yo, but sometimes go yeah, yo act like a hater, man. You know what I mean. He don't like to give up people they probably, man. But you know, that could be a young 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 person thing. I think when he get home, he probably be better. But yeah, yo done did some things that they could be considered hey. You know what I mean? So long story short, Mo three and Go Yeah Yo did a song together. Go Yeah Yo song. Mo three went ham. Mo three snapped on that joint. You know what I mean? Y'all go look that song up. It's Go Yeah Yo featuring Mo3. It's on one of Go Yeah Yo old tapes. I can't think of the name of the song right now, but all you got to do is type in Go Yeah Yo featuring Mo3. It'll pull up. Three ripped it. Everybody in the studio. Boy, that three snapped on that thing. Even Yeah Yo homie. Yeah, didn't like that. So, 
nothing didn't pop off right then, you know what I mean? Yeah, yo kind of, he was kind of soft about everybody. Give him more three pop, basically saying that more three ripped him on his own beat. You know what I'm saying? On his own song. Mo three he Mo three snatched master. <clears throat> you know, go yeah, yo, he came in with the with the boom guy type of flow, you know, that punch in flow. And Mo three went crazy on there, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, nothing didn't pop off right then and now. At the same time, him and Trap one them, they they collaborate. You know what I mean? They got a tape on the cut on uh Trap Boy Freddy, uh Freddie Cougar. Mixtape, they got a song on there. I'm talking about jam. When them boys sound good together, he also appeared in one of the Trap Boy uh, Freddie video. Fun them on. That's a that's a D time classic right there. You know what I mean? But like I say, they they doing their thing. They locked in. Same time, Yellow Bees, he buzzing. You know what I mean? Him and Trap, they getting tight. They locking in. Whatever they they collaborating. Every time it, it's time to do a show, they they going on together. You know what I mean? Sharing each other fans or whatever, but BZ, he blowing up at the same time. Why three, everybody doing their thing. Y'all the BZ, he, he, bu he buzzing over here. You know what I mean? It was going down, you know what I mean? It, it was a, a good time for Dallas, for music. Everybody was doing their thing. In the meanwhile, go yeah, yo. He on this yeah, yo ish, beefing, getting the tour with everybody, falling out. Fighting, just being yeah yo man, typical yeah yo. You know what I mean? Really blowing the opportunity, man. Like I say, go yeah yo was the hottest one, but yeah yo kept getting caught up and 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 trying to be hard, basically. You know what I mean? And it wasn't for long. He was picking them up. Yeah yo was jealous of more three, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, yeah yo had all the talent, had all the potential, but he was. Just like to be a knucklehead. So, yeah, yo, he was playing both sides. It was another little cat named Nana. Nah nah. Yeah, yo, going back and forth, telling yeah, yeah, Nana nah by three. Vice versa, telling three by Nana. Nah. You know what I mean? So, uh, they end up getting into it or whatever. The dude Nana nah, end up calling both of them out, saying he wanted to scratch. Yeah, yo, went to social media. To let Mo 3 know that he was banned from the phone. He couldn't come back to Fort Worth or whatever. He said he was going to whoop him. He come back. He going to get out. And if you know Mo 3, he wasn't going to back down. So it wasn't for long. Well, Mo 3 got booked for a show in Fort Worth. Unfortunately, it was a tragedy that night. So Mo 3, he pulled up to the club. The door performing like he posted did, and it was his birthday too at the same time. It was Mo 3's birthday. I don't know why he booked his birthday in Fort Worth, but I kind of know why. Like I said, Mo 3 had a lot of beef in Dallas. Uh, Mo 3 used to beef a lot, but in this situation, Yeah Yo, Yeah Yo was being a hater. You know what I mean? They came in a Yeah Yo, him and his guy, they come up to the club. You know what I mean? Kind of surrounded Mo 3. In a little situation, jump out, they get get into a little scuffle, woo the woo. People get their they guns out. Mo, Mo 3 defending himself. Unfortunately, an innocent bystander was, was hit. A guy named Hector, they called him a little half out there in the phone, whatever. He was the promoter. He ain't had nothing to do with that. He lost his life that night because of that situation with Mo 3, you know what I mean? Uh, Mo 3, he felt bad about it, you know what I'm saying? From, what I seen when it when it initially happened, Mo three he felt bad about it. You know what I mean? He was scared. He he had just signed a deal at the time. See, a lot of people don't know that. Before he got the situation with Empire, he had signed with Atlantic, but he was kind of sitting right there. You know they kind of didn't know what to do with him or whatever. But Mo three had just signed the deal or whatever, and uh, that was that was bad news for him to get in this situation you know, whatever. Him uh they. Him and Yeah Yo, they addressed it on Facebook or whatever. They went back and forth, uh, arguing about the, the situation. You know what I mean? Mo three, he showed remorse, but uh, like I say, dealing with somebody like Yeah Yo who gonna get on the internet, arguing, try to come out to the street and fight and all that type of stuff right there. Mo three, he young at the same time too. You know what I mean? 
unfortunately, my three were picked up for murder. You know what I mean? I had to go sit down for a little minute. You know what I mean? Uh, that was that right there changed my three right there. But it changed any man though. You know what I'm saying? To go through something like that. And uh, rest in peace to the little half or whatever. We had he lost his life in that situation. He had nothing to do with that. After this situation, it will never be the same. After that, it was up. Yeah, y'all gonna have to wait to get that part two. Shout out to everybody listening to Juice City Legends. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Peace.